performance of this young centre, Mal Millinger. OK, let's take a look at the Brisbane side now coming up for you. And it comprises at fullback Dutton, on the wings Backer and Eastwell. In the centres, Payne and Meninga. He's the centre with the very big rap on him, young Mal Meninga, goal-kicking centre and 18 years of age. They say he's destined for Sydney football. Wayne Carr, 5'8", Wayne Lindenberg at half-back, Norm Carr at lock, and then Des Morris, Greg Quing, Greg Beaver's the captain, Johnny Lang, and Bill Whitmore. The St George side has been chopped about quite considerably uh, since their Anzac Day match. It reads Brian Johnson at full-back in the centres, leading the side for the second time this year, Graham Quinn. Robert Finch is in the centres with him, along with Stephen Butler and Michael Sorodini on the wings. Trudgett and Carney as the half. He'll do the goal kicking tonight. Carney, Buckley, Reddy, Barge, Stone. Stephen Edge has gone back to first grade. And Ross Cale, the former Penrith player, is in the prop forward position. Today, or should I say this afternoon, I spoke with this man on camera, Graham Quinn, about what to expect from this Brisbane side. How hard will those Brisbane guys be trying tonight, Graham? They'll be trying very hard tonight, particularly uh, the reason they are playing for Brisbane and they will be playing for a future Queensland spot to play against the Blues when they come up in June. And there's the whistle blowing time on before a crowd of around 8,000 and uh, a rather parochial crowd I expect it will be as Stephen Butler takes it out just beyond his quarter and Stephen Butler going down on record as getting first touch of this rather historic match tonight from Lang Park. So on the far side of the field, it's the Dragons with the first feel of it. And uh, that's the lock forward, Graham Buckley, who's going to be made to play at 12 metres out from his quarter on the old grandstand side. Randall Barge, a player for whom Harry Bath has the highest regard. Robert Stone. Floating one over the top, the second row forward, Rod Reddy, out of one tackle, still going down the touch line, Butler's on the inside, but intercepted there by Wayne Lindenberg for Brisbane. And so it's now Queensland with the ball just inside there. Yeah, they have they? No. So Stephen Edge taking the tap, Kale showing the ball a couple of times, but uh, opting not to pass before being tackled by Vivas and Lang. Stone running on the open side. Quinn the tackler for uh, Brisbane. Carney. Reddy. Oh, Reddy's looking for the corner. Reddy's in. That's a try to Reddy for St George. Quite a simple try as uh, Brisbane opened up on the uh, blind well, side. I thought play. he gathered it in before it actually hit the ground, but referee Ward had a better view than we did as the players came around Johnson. Broadcasting from the top of the new stand here at Lang Park. It gives you a, a great view as the penalty goes to Brisbane right in front. Peter crosses the ruling. Red shorts. Well, George Doniger, tell me something about this man about to take the attempted uh, penalty, Mal Meninga. Mal Meninga uh, just turned 19. Was in the police academy for two years up until last year. Played in a uh, Brisbane under-18 side and a Queensland under-18 side last year and burst onto the scene this year pretty quickly. He's got all the skills. He's got a very, a very old head on them young shoulders. He's a perfect build for a footballer, as you can see. And uh, up to this stage, um, thus far into the year, he's scored 54 points from 21 goals and four tries. You were telling me today the son of uh, South Sea Islanders, is that right? He's, a, he's originally from the South Sea Islands, yes, but it's a long way removed, I think, Ray. There's the kick, and that's not a long way removed from two points. And so it's St George leading Brisbane now by three points to two after ten minutes of tonight's Amco Cup coming to you from Lang Park. Should have little trouble with it. It's got height and it's there. Two points. So St George leading by five points to two with about two and a half minutes of the first quarter remaining. Stand this uh, Brisbane attack. It's been virtually on now for the full eight minutes of the second quarter. And Lindenberg's done to attack a lot more, moving from the scrum base and around the rucks. Uh, he's the bloke that's causing the St George defence a few headaches at this stage. And another scrum win to Brisbane. Out to Wayne Carr. And he's taken in the tackle by uh, Graham Buckley. On it goes to Eastwell, making the extra man in the back line. Meninga. And he's tackled five metres out. Taken by opposite number 
in the form of Robert Finch. The Brisbane crowd roaring for a try as Whitmore lunges himself at the line. Very close to scoring Whitmore. St George's defence hanging on. Lindenberg out to Wayne Carr. And he's met there by again Buckley. And over the top Ross Kale. Played and with Lindenberg. A little bit of uh, hesitation but now to Des Morris slipping the pass to Wayne Carr and two metres out from the line. This is the last one for Brisbane again now. Wayne Carr playing the ball. He's been their bomber. Des Morris on the inside to Norm Carr and he hasn't got it down. He's OK. And St George getting pushed off the ball really. And it's a penalty to Brisbane. An arm down in the scrum is the ruling. And this looks an easy two-pointer for Meninga. Well, there was a sight in the background as Keith Barnes was talking. The uh, vocal Brisbane crowd. And there it is, swelling in volume even now as Meninga puts another two points on the board for the home side. Taken by Graham Quinn. Nice Brilliant tackle. A very good kick by uh, Trudgett there too, but it was uh, equally well read by Lindenberg, who positioned himself superbly to cover that uh, little kick over the top. Played by Meninga, Des Morris, Whitmore. Lindenberg knows full well that Ross Trudwick is sitting on the reserve bench down there, Keith, uh, itching to get on the field. On the inside, Greg Quinn off a Des Morris pass. They won't catch him, and Greg Quinn scores for Brisbane. Difficult attempted conversion. It's got the height. It's got the length. It might be wide. Just. And so Brisbane reached the lead over St. George by seven points to five with five minutes of the second. A tap taken by Johnny Lang and given up immediately to Bill Whitmore, who gives it on to Mal Meninga. Whitmore's he... getting through a fair amount of work too this evening, George. Yes, well, as I said at the start of the program, Keith, I... Even though Bob Cox a very accomplished footballer, I thought Whitmore uh, was probably a better selection for this particular team. There's the half-time hooter in the background, and that scoreline remains unchanged, with Brisbane leading St. George by seven points to five. Certainly no malice in it. As players on the St. George quarter, out to Lindenberg, on to Quinn. Ready low. Young over the top. And again, a chance here for the Brisbane side to put that bomb up, but they're not going to as Beavers throws the ball to ground and it's off Lang and gone across to Quinn on to Carr. Tackle count starting afresh. Lindenberg, Quinn. Tackler was Trudgett. Buckley over the top. Lindenberg, Whitmore. Around the legs, ready. Beavers, run round. Dummy to Lang on the outside as Morris, then to Dutton. On it goes to Lindenberg. He reels out of the tackle and scores. Oh, yes, indeed. That was good football from Brisbane. There's the replay of the try. Some very fine work from Brisbane leading up to the Lindenberg try and sending Brisbane to a 10-5 lead now with the kick to come. They're proving a top combination, uh, Morris and Lindenberg, aren't they? But also Vivas was involved in that one, uh, George. Yes, Des Morris uh, again involved, Keith, and uh, by golly, I uh, can taste a bit of success myself. Well, the I'll... interesting point for discussion here is looking down at the St George uh, huddle, uh, Harry Bath has got Steve Morris stripped, so uh, Keith, it's obvious that he feels maybe Morris with his uh, zip can possibly make the break for St George. Yes, I think so. Well, Morris is the uh, the perfect player, of course, to run off a, a pass from either Rod Reddy or uh, Craig Young. And I think with his attacking ability, uh, particularly his pace, uh, he's going to create a few problems for the uh, Brisbane defence. Just breaking Fighting, in. Of course, they can get a bit of the ball. Just breaking in. Steve is standing on the other side of a rather disappointed uh, Stephen Edge. I I think I'm right in saying that's a disappointed face there from Stephen Edge having been replaced by John Dowling. Black eye and all. Yes, I'd say so. Uh, the by the people in Brisbane. Most definitely, Ray. Uh, when I heard about it, I was uh, 
very enthusiastic about it, and everyone I spoke to thought it was a great idea, and uh, it's surely proving that way, isn't it? Well, you couldn't have drawn a harder group for them to be in. They're in against Eastern Manly, other than St George. No, I must go back to the first night that the MCO Cup was on with Eastern Balmain, when uh, yourself and Keith and Frank Hyde forgot to give us a chance. That well, was, that was that was maybe, maybe, maybe you thought we were going to forfeit, did you? No, you're correcting that criticism. Mark. <laughs> There's Morris, right through right right a yawning gap, and then to Norm Carr, here comes Backer. He's oh. got the ball. Oh, what a sensational try! At the moment, George Doniger, I think there's 13 of them out there that they're all very nice guys, aren't they? I know Des personally, all Lindy's kicked a shocker. <laughs> all righty, so it goes back to the halfway mark the for... three-quarter time siren. Young Steve Morris, a couple of metres out from the line. Brisbane will not want to let Steve Morris see any uh, open spaces. He's very fast off the mark. Good Buckley. Point. Graham Buckley looking for Barge, and Barge is in! Randall Barge has scored for St George. St George Jr. Get him in front. So here it is. Carney has made no mistake. And St George are right back in this game now. At 13 points to 10, Brisbane leading. But they've got... A long way to go from here to the other end of the field to pull this out of the fire. Finch tackled 11 metres out. This crowd is going to go really berserk in about 30 seconds from now. Unless St George can pull off a miracle. Sorodimi to Dowling. Dowling to Sorodimi. Sorodimi almost away. And that really would have brought the, the Sydney viewers to their feet. Out to Stone and nearly dropped by Steve Morris. St George have got seconds to do something. Ready. Sorodimi. Ten metres from halfway. Last tackle against the Dragons. Ready. Young. Looking on the inside, finding Buckley. And he's tackled. And there's the side. 13-10, and the man of the match is none other than Des Morris. Des Morris is the National Electronic Sales and Rentals man of the match. As a swarm of uh, children flock now to congratulate their Brisbane heroes. And heroes they were tonight. They played uh, a classy brand of football. Defeating St George, 13 points to 10, and there's Des Morris the main recipient of the back slapping and certainly entitled to it. We'll come back 